Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems Technical Tuesday here today with the DR920P. This is our compensated offering, comes with the comp, unique, novel, patent pending attachment method, and that's what we're going to talk about today because it is different. All right. One of the things that's the most different and most exciting about this compensator system is it doesn't just feel like, you know, an add-on like some of the compensators that are out there, right? It's 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 built into the gun and the method that you use to take it on and off is just a little more elegant, all right? And so we're going to talk about that and try to explain it because it's it's again something that you've probably never seen before. So, first I'm going to just talk about the typical conventional attachment method you see for compensators. So a lot of people have a nice threaded barrel on their pistol and then they can thread on suppressors or they can thread on compensators. So most of them you just thread the compensator over the barrel and it's going to be shaped like any number of shapes. Maybe there's ports on the side or on the top or whatever. And then after you've threaded it on, it's just kind of hanging there in space. It can just do whatever it wants. So there has to be some method of controlling it, keeping it aligned with the sides of the slide and with the barrel. And usually what you see is some kind of screw. It's a, you know, a hex head on either side, or maybe there's something from the bottom. Sometimes the screw has something between it and the threads. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, right? Sometimes it is just direct contact with the threads. You also sometimes will see versions where there's kind of a split down the middle of the comp and maybe we have screws that are going from top to bottom, holding it together this way. So imagine that the threaded section is split, you thread it on, you get it aligned, and then you tighten up your screws from the bottom and it squeezes everything together. These are kind of typical designs, all right? Um, if you're just adding one onto a gun, sure it makes sense, but there's some things about it that are a little bit less than optimal. Uh, one of them, one of them is the the compensator alignment is done sort of by your eye. You know, there's nothing about the slide and the assembly or the barrel that's aligning it for you. So you're aligning it by your eye. Uh, it also can kind of damage your threads and it's a real pain to take apart because usually you're going to want to use some thread locker on those screws so if you want to take the barrel out of the slide to clean which some people prefer to do like a conventional field strip where it comes out uh, it's just not very elegant right so we wanted to have something that seemed a little more purpose-built that allowed you to take the barrel out easily when you're doing maintenance uh, that aligned the compensator automatically and that was totally bomb proof rock solid and therefore also a good place to mount the front sight okay so the DR920P front sight is on the compensator, and that's kind of that's one of the things about it that's cool. Most people know by now, we've talked about it. You know, the slide is doing this, boom, 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 boom. It's going back and forth, and your eye is just tracking that front sight, which is just floating out there. So ideally, your, your front sight focus and your ability to track the gun in recoil is much better with the front sight mounted on the comp instead of on the slide. All right, so how does it actually attach? I'm going to try to draw our attachment method first, and then I will sort of take it apart and show you the pieces. So again, we have a barrel, okay? But this time, it has just a shorter section at the end of it. All right, you'll see that in a moment. And there are no threads on the barrel. So the advantage of that is, there's many advantages. Uh, one of them is that it's, it's legal in some jurisdictions where you can't have a threaded barrel, okay? It also makes for a faster, more simple attachment method, which you'll see in a moment. So you'll see it in a second. You have a barrel with no threads on it, a little stubby section. And then we have an O-ring that fits over the barrel in this little space and goes all the way around the barrel. And it rests against that back corner, that back wall right there. So the O-ring is a super high temp soft polymer, okay? And, and it does several things. One of them is, of course, provide a gas seal and it works, it's pretty cool. Like if you put one of these on a stainless steel, fresh, shiny barrel and you go shoot it, you'll have carbon, you'll have carbon here and you'll have nothing after that. So it actually does seal like an O-ring should, but it also provides a little bit of a spring force for when you put the compensator together. So imagine it in compression wanting to push back that way, okay? Uh, and then you have the, the compensator itself and the locking pin. So uh, I'm gonna actually hold the comp up as I draw this because it makes it a little easier. So the comp comes, reflexes over the barrel a little bit. There's a port out there. 
comes down, sort of swoops, oops, sort of swoops back to here. And then at this location, there is a, sorry. At this location, there is a locking pin. I should draw that a little lower. The locking pin is right there, OK? So the, the locking pin goes halfway through the barrel and then, of course, through the side of the compensator. It's removed right here. So imagine this whole assembly is, is, is under compression because of this O-ring, and the pin is locking it in place. Now the last piece, which you'll see in a minute, is up here at the top, underneath the front sight, there is a locking key. That is, that is in the barrel and also in the compensator. And it prevents the compensator from twisting. This is an important point. What we're trying to do is control the front to rear and the, the up down. And then we also want to control rotation, make sure that it can't twist. OK? So let me show you how all these pieces fit together. I'll pull this con. I've already taken the pin out. The pin just pushes out from one side to the other. Okay? Sometimes it's helpful to rest at the muzzle and push down gently, but you don't really need to usually. You can then kind of rock the compensator up and down. I'm trying to do it with the gun put together. Let me take the gun apart. So you can rock the compensator up and down like this after the pin has been removed. And it will see the gap is starting to increase. It will come off. And then underneath there is the O-ring that I mentioned. Okay? So the compensator is off. And here's the polymer O-ring. Now, we include three of these with the gun, one on the gun, two in the bag. But the reality is we've really yet to wear one out. I am saying 5,000 rounds maybe is a reasonable interval. Not that I think that's even really necessary, but that's just what we're saying. The reality is you're probably more likely to put it together wrong and damage the O-ring than you are to need to replace it due to wear. But there's a nice little O-ring in there. And then the other thing you'll see is on the top of the barrel, there is a polymer spacer. It's not a spacer, it's actually a locking key. Uh, and it's made out of a high temp material that is designed to withstand the forces of recoil, to withstand the heat of firing. And you can actually take the compensator off and uh, shoot the gun and it'll stay in there unless, it's, unless it gets real loose, which can happen. But generally speaking, you're not going to lose it. And when the compensator is on the barrel, of course it can't come out. It's completely encapsulated and locked in place. And it is an interference fit. So you, the, these are essentially now one piece. You cannot move the front sight at all. Remember, the front sight's out there. You really can't get away with putting a front sight on a comp if it's going to be potentially misaligned when you take it apart. So this is the way of making sure you have perfect alignment with the compensator uh, and the front sight. OK? So that's how these pieces go together. So this, this, uh, you know, this key fits through that slot in the top of the slide when you take the gun apart. And then if you were to be reassembling it, you would put your, your O-ring over the front of the barrel like that. And then you would install your compensator just right over the top of it. Make sure it's locked in place. And then there is a locking pin, which you can push through from either side. But you know, a little tap, and it'll be fully seated. All right. So that's essentially how it works. We've controlled it going this way. We've got a locking key up there at up top. We're providing a gas seal. We've got our front sight on the compensator. We've got very easy disassembly, very easy reassembly, rock solid lockup, purpose built, purpose designed, and legal in jurisdictions that don't have a uh, threaded barrel. OK? So hope you enjoyed that. We're excited to see them getting out into the market. If you have questions, as always, please let us know, and we'll see you next week.